Do you feel a sense of uncertainty or spiritual disconnect? Meet Pastor Richard Opadare, the senior pastor and founder of Christ Family Assembly Outreach, London. A father, husband and pastor with a prophetic anointing, preaching the undiluted word of God worldwide for over 15 years. He is a teacher, author and professional counselor, both therapeutic and spiritually, and is here to inspire your divine breakthrough. God continues to use Pastor Richard to encourage both young and old, male and female, and most especially couples. He is the editor-in-chief of the Awesome God magazine and your host of Awesome God. Listen here every Tuesday on PRZFM, 9pm to 10pm, and be greatly blessed. Hello everyone, welcome to live broadcast of Awesome God on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. I am your host, Pastor Richard Obedari from Christ Family Assembly Outreach. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I want to thank those who are giving us feedback and as well do sending their prayer request. May the Almighty God answer you speedily and your breakthrough will manifest quickly in the name of Jesus. Tonight we want to this I want to talk about going forward. Going forward. Going forward. Let's look at Exodus. Exodus chapter 14 verse 15. Exodus chapter 14 verse 15. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying to me? Tell the children of Israel that they go forward. Shall we pray? Father, we bless you because you are a good God. The merciful Father and the faithful God, we are so, so grateful because you have been very faithful to us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for opportunities. God, we pray that you go ahead with us. Be at the center of everything we do. At the end of the day, all the glory shall come back to you. In Jesus' wonderful and mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes, going forward. God informed Moses, tell my people to go forward. This hour, this moment, I have come to inform you. You have to go forward go forward yes you do not need to stay on the same position crying weeping about the same issue begin to map out and begin to formulate the strategy how you will go forward tell my people to go forward this is not just a statement but a command and God is very specific, declaring his intention for the people of Israel so that they will be able to fulfill purpose. May you fulfill purpose as well in the name of Jesus. Before this statement, we may begin to reflect and explore deeper what is happening around the people of Israel. And perhaps you might take a personal record, observation, or take a personal reflection about your own situation and your life. What is happening concerning you, concerning your family, concerning your business, concerning your finances, concerning your community, concerning the nation. Because going forward can be intended for an individual. It could be for a family. It could be for a community. It could be for a clan. It could be for a nation. Perhaps you have been standing on the same spot for too long. Or you might be stranded, afraid, confused, Frustrated, 
you feel threatened moving forward and unable to progress. Or perhaps you are moving, but you are just moving around the cycle. Day in, day out, year in, year out. You are not stuck or standing on the same spot. You are moving, you are sweating. People can see you day in, day out doing stuff. But you are just moving around the cycle. Today you are going for what? According to the word of God. According to the mandate of God. I say it again. You are going for what? Because God intended and declared that statement for the people of Israelite. If the almighty God can speak to Moses. That inform my people, the people of Israel. To go forward. God is saying similar to you and I. Begin to go forward. Begin to strategize. How this will manifest. You must go forward. When a word like this is spoken. It could be just a kind of advice. To someone. Or information. But most important. Take it as a command. Take it as a mandate. Don't just take it lightly. Therefore, the word of God that is coming to you this moment is not just an advice or just an information. Don't ignore it. Consider it as a command. Consider it as a declaration from the Almighty God that you must go forward. I must go forward. Some people might be standing at the same point year in, year out. Whereas others are moving ahead, they are coming back and showing their or sharing their success story. But you just stay on the same spot. A lot of people staying on the same spot is either they perish or they rotting. May that not be your portion. Some people have pursued all day long, all night long, year in, year out. And in the process of pursuing certain things, they come back home with nothing. May that not be your portion. They return home empty. May that not be your portion. You will return back home and you will have stores. You will have quality things to show as you return in the name of Jesus. And many people or the enemies, they know that this is the final elimination. The final match. And it's either relegation or promotion. Just like uh, the football in England. The Premiership. It has just come to an end. A lot of clubs relegated. A lot of clubs, about two or three, promoted. So as well, life are being relegated on daily basis, on monthly basis, on yearly basis, on quarterly basis. And a lot of people are getting promoted, getting elevated, moving forward. Oh, sit back and analyze your, your life. How has it been from last year? How has it been from last month? How has it been from last week? How has it been from yesterday? Are you going for what? Progressing or retrogressing? May you begin to go forward in the name of Jesus. And when it is the final match, the adrenaline is pumping very high. The energy is very high. People are optimistic. Are you optimistic? When you woke up this morning, are you optimistic? About what you will achieve? Are you optimistic? About that task that you set? That you have to achieve it? The task for the month? The task for the week? The task for the year? Oh, may you begin to go forward. May you begin to progress. In the name of Jesus. A lot of people, they regress daily. They move backward. Why some are moving ahead, some are going down, 
and other people are going up. Some must go forward, other goes backward. Someone must go upward, and others might go downward. Some move ahead, some are coming back and sharing their success story. Some just stay where they are, day in, day out, year in, year out. And their lives will remain insignificant. May that not be your portion. Oh, look at the story of the Israelites. They have been pursued by Pharaoh. Unto a point of no return. And the enemies have the awareness. That this is the final match. That all the Israelites that they have kept in cage. For almost 400 years. The time to go forward is, was at hand. And Pharaoh would not let go. Perhaps you too you have your Pharaoh that would not let go. Yes, they could see that you are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close to going forward. You are so close to be successful. And they are planning the elimination strategy ah in the name of jesus you will not be eliminated you will only be elevated in the name of jesus my prayer for you this day this moment is that you will not perish in that situation because god will make a way for you and you will move to the next level god will make a way for you you will only go forward and not backward in the name of jesus Ah, the enemy planned that you will die in that situation but I've come to say no you will not die because the word of God says in Psalm 118 verse 17 that you will not die but you will live to proclaim the name of the Lord God in the land of the living therefore make that your assignment make that your task to proclaim the name of the Lord God so that God will preserve your life and the enemy will not get you God will make a way for you to cross to the other side. The other side of the Red Sea. The other side where, the, where life is, is easier. Where you will meet the green pasture. Oh, God will make a way for you. That you will move to the place where there is plenty. God will make a way for you to go forward to where you will find meek and honey. God will make a way for you that you will move from slavery. And you will gain your freedom and liberty. God will make a way for you that you will move from failure to success. God will make a way for you. You will move away from sickness to good health. Oh, you will begin to sing a new song. This is the season. As you are going forward, as you are progressing. Yes, you will be singing, praising God. You will soon sing a new song. This is the moment. This is the hour. In the name of Jesus. When God told Moses... To go forward. Say, tell my people to go forward. There are several implications. To go forward here means to proceed to where He, God Almighty, has mapped out for you. To move to a place where He has determined or programmed for you to enjoy your life. He's asking you to go forward. To a place where he has strategically located for you to enjoy your existence. A place flowing with milk and honey. I do not know where you are now. And I do not know how tough life is. You might be struggling. But I've come to tell you this hour. Ah, the time of your struggle is over. You are going forward. You are crossing over going to a better place in the name of jesus there are many of us that have determined to go up higher or to go forward and every effort that you garner and put together to move forward to go forward it always come so close but the enemy will frustrate and paralyze everything but this moment this hour uh, the enemy will no longer be able to paralyze your effort everything that the wicked one has mapped up 
to prevent you from going forward they are dismantled this hour in the name of jesus this is the day this is the hour this is the moment for you to recharge and to be encouraged and be determined to fulfill purpose in life yes your determination to gain your freedom shall be granted your determination to excel shall come true your determination to be successful in life shall come to manifestation your determination to stand out among your colleagues and peers shall be approved by the almighty God. Your determination to have your own house shall be fulfilled. Your be determination to be gainfully employed shall come to pass. Your determination to change that ugly story of your family shall be fulfilled. Your determination to get married shall come to pass. Yes, somebody is coming to hook up with you. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Your determination to be fruitful. Yes, to have your own children. It shall be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that makes you as commanded, go forward. Therefore, nothing is holding you back. Nothing will stand against the word of God in your life. If God has spoken it, he will make a way. He will provide air for you today. Yes. Hope for a good future. No matter how things look like and you have been hopeless, today's things are turning around. That hopelessness will encounter the word of God and things will become hopeful in the name of Jesus. Remember Psalm 27 verse 1 to 2. Psalm 27 verse 1 to 2 it says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked ones, even my enemies, advance against me to devour, to devour my flesh. When the enemies plan to, and my foes plan to attack me, they will stumble and they will fall. This is the word of God. Speak the word of God to your situation. All the enemies of your progress, they will fall flat before you. Don't get distracted. Don't get discouraged. God is backing you up. This is not the time to turn back. This is not the time to be looking for, 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 for sympathy. This is the time for you to gather your energy and begin to move according to the word of God because the Lord God has spoken it. Every dangerous and demonic power holding you backward, they shall be dismantled to this hour in the name of Jesus. There could be certain limitations. Yes. Along the way, you might encounter limitations. But don't pay attention to those limitations. There could be certain obstacles. Yes. Don't get distracted. Don't get discouraged. Devil can hold it back. They cannot bite. Don't focus on those obstructions. Focus on the word of God. And begin to say to yourself, begin to tell yourself repeatedly, I'm going forward. I am going forward. I'm going forward. I am going places. As you say it, it will come to manifestation. As you declare the word of the Lord God will back it off. As you say it, God will approve of it. You are going forward. In the name of Jesus. God that has commanded that you should go forward, we see you through. He will not back away from you. Yes. You may be feeling that excruciating pain, agony. Yes, it can be too awful. But look, my brothers, look, my sister, look, listeners. Those painful situations, they will fade away and it will turn to gains as you turn your attention only on the word of God. The pain will soon vanish. And it will soon turn to become your gain. In the name of Jesus, you may have no money. But look, don't trust your pulse. Trust God that has urged you to go forward. Trust God that has commanded go forward. He is a great provider. He will surely provide for you. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6. Proverbs 3 from verse 5 to 6. He says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. Mm. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your steps. Ah. Begin to focus on the word of God. Pay deeper attention on the word of God. The word of God will surely prosper you. Because if God has said it, if God has commanded it, he will make it to come to pass. No Jupiter can stand against you. Psalm 121, Psalm 125, verses 1 and 2. He said, I will look up my eyes unto the wreaths from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. Believe in God. Believe in his word. 
you will prosper, you will go forward, and you are not going backward. In the name of Jesus, is there any Pharaoh standing against your going forward? Oh, God will eliminate all Pharaoh standing against your progress. For the Israelites to go forward, it means that their present obstacle, that is the Red Sea, will open for them so that they can pass through. So the geographical obstacle was instantly dismantled. They encountered the miraculous. May you encounter the miraculous as well as you are listening to the word of God this hour. In the name of Jesus. The human obstacle which was Pharaoh and his chariots, they were eliminated miraculously. They perished in the Red Sea. So all the enemies of your progress that refuse to repent, they will surely perish. In the name of Jesus. Today I pray that whatsoever that is blocking your way shall be uprooted and be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus every geographical hindrances every human obstacles legislative or legal hindrances they will be dismantled in the name of jesus causes or spare that has come out from the mouth of man or woman or demonic or satanic oracle over your life it shall be dismantled and destroyed by fire in the name of jesus your destiny must gain momentum. Your destiny must gain speed as you are going forward. And you will not just go forward, you will make it to the finishing line. You will make it to the end. In the name of Jesus, as you are going forward, you will be singing a new song with all joy. You will be singing a new song with all your energy because God has done it. And if God has done it, nobody can stand against it. All the enemies of your progress, known and unknown, who are waiting on the other side in the future, they shall be removed. They will be eliminated in the name of Jesus Christ. Your bitter water will turn to sweet water in the name of Jesus Christ. All the enemies of your progress, they will perish. And you will begin to receive manna from heaven manna will begin to fall from heaven that without sweat you will begin to enjoy life from today onward miracle will lead to another miracle and in fact to a greater miracle in your life in the name of jesus you will experience the kind of breakthrough that you have never encountered before in your life in the name of jesus the lord god will make ways for you he that have said it will surely make it to come to pass in the name of jesus god cannot give you a vision without making available the provision this is the moment that you begin to encounter the provision of god in fullness in the name of jesus the lord god will locate you with his word he will locate you and bring to pass all this plan in your life in the name of jesus i hear the word of god that in psalm 34 verse 10 the young lion do lack and suffer hunger but they that seek the lord shall not lack any good thing as you are listening this moment you will not lack any good thing in the name of jesus this is what god has said that i should tell you you shall not lack any good thing wherever you are in this planet earth you will not lack any good thing because he that has said it will not close his eyes against you he will surely back you up realize that god is in the center of your life and if he's in the center of your life he will hold everything together so things will not fall apart begin to say to yourself i'm going forward i'm going forward i'm going places i'm going up higher i'm going up higher because god has said it it will manifest i'm going up higher and i'm going places i'm moving forward i'm going forward yes that is the word of god concerning you say it and god will approve of it say it and the lord god will rubber stamp it with the blood of jesus say it and god will make it to manifest you will encounter god at every step that you take in your going forward nothing will drag you backward you are not going down you are only going forward you are only going upward in the name of jesus christ every restriction placed upon your destiny they have been eliminated and removed no more hindrances no more distraction stay focused and pay clear cut attention on the word of god pay detail detailed attention on the word of god and it shall surely prosper you 
This is what God has said as you inform you. And it will come to manifestation without delay. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. This is the hour of awesome God on PRZ Radio 100.2 FM. And I'm your host, Pastor Richard Opedari from Christ Family Assembly Outreach. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any prayer request, please get in touch on 07957-630-187. And I repeat, 07957 Six three zero one eight seven. If you live outside UK, please add plus four four. On the other hand, you can get in touch by email. Awesome God at przfm dot com. Awesome God at przfm dot com. One word. Thank you for listening. I'm done for the day. Till next week Tuesday, same time. Stay tuned and stay connected. a sense of uncertainty or spiritual disconnect meet pastor richard opadare the senior pastor and founder of christ family assembly outreach london a father husband and pastor with a prophetic anointing preaching the undiluted word of god worldwide for over 15 years he is a teacher, author, and professional counselor, both therapeutic and spiritually, and is here to inspire your divine breakthrough. God continues to use Pastor Richard to encourage both young and old, male and female, and most especially couples. He is the editor-in-chief of the Awesome God magazine and your host of Awesome God. Listen here every Tuesday on PRZFM, 9pm to 10pm, and be greatly blessed. Oh, yeah.